Hello everyone. I am Harshita and today I am going to explain you about the topic document sequencing in Pable. Document sequencing. It's a unique number assigned to created or saved documents. Provide more control in day-to-day -day business transaction by providing or generating audit trail as identifying missing transaction or deletion of some entries. It gives the proof of completeness. Now, there are three types by which document sequencing can be done that are automatic, gapless, and manual. In automatic, unique numbering is sequential by date and time of crea creation. Under manual, it requires a user to assign a number to each document before it is generated. And under gapless, it ensures no sequence number are lost due to incomplete or failed document creation. So these are three types for creating document sequence. Now, to set up sequencing, we need to perform tasks that are specify ledger options, manage payables document sequence, manage invoice option, and manage payment option. In this task, manage invoice option and manage payment options are optional to perform. Now we will go to the application and see how it is done. Now, after logging to the application, we will go to setup and maintenance. Now from task list, we will go to manage implementation projects. Now from here, we will search and select the project in which we are working. Now under this task bar, we will search for the task specify ledger option. Now we will click on this hyperlink, specify ledger options. Under that, specify ledger option, go to task. Now, here under sequencing, accounting and document sequencing, you can see sequencing by three options are available, ledger, legal entity, no sequencing. When Sequencing by is selected as no sequencing. Both the option enforce document sequencing and enforce chronological order on document accounting date are disabled. But when we will click on ledger or when we will select sequencing by as ledger, enforce document sequence sequencing get activated. So if we will select the payables, it will mean or it will indicate that invoice and payment requires voucher number. And if we will not set it as a payable, then it will be not required. Now, moving on to legal entity. If we will select legal entity as sequencing by, then both the option enforce document sequencing and enforce chronological order on document accounting date options get activated. So, under legal entity, when you will select enforce document sequencing not as payable, as well as under enforce chronological order on document accounting date, there also, if you will not select it as payable, then voucher number assignment on invoice and payment gets optional. Otherwise, rest all the permutation and combination under this legal entity sequencing by will require a voucher number to be assigned to invoice and payment. So, this table describes how the combination of ledger option setting affects the assignment of voucher number to invoices and payments. Like, 
there are three options ledger legal entity and no sequencing under sequencing by and you can see all the permutation and combination how the selection of the enforced document sequencing and enforced chronological order on document date will affect the voucher number assignment to the invoice and payment so by this you can complete the first step of specifying ledger option now moving back to the application and see how the second step that is manage payable document sequence is performed now under the task bar we will search for the task manage payable document sequence click on this task under this manage payable document sequence go to task now for creating new click on this plus icon now here you can give document sequence name like i am giving here payable standard invoice now application is the accounts payable so it will be accounts payable or we can say payable module will also be payable then and type you can select automatic manual or gapless i'm selecting here automatic now determinant type you can give business unit ledger or legal entity as per the requirement i'm right now i'm giving ledger and you can give start date and end date however this field is not mandatory if you want you can give after that we will go to payable standard invoice assignment tab and we will click on this plus icon to create new now here we will give the document sequence category name so what is document sequence category it's a set of documents that share similar characteristics and that are formed into a logical group so here we will select the category of our payable like i am selecting here accrual then the method automatic or manual selecting here automatic then you can give start and end date and the ledger ledger value will be the ledger which you want to select here in which you are in which you are working I have selected determinant type as ledger. That's why it is asking for ledger value. So I have to select our primary ledger or secondary ledger for this document sequence. So by this, you can give manage payable document sequence. Now we will just click on save and close. Okay, we need to give start date and end date also. 
So I'm just giving here. Start date is mandatory. I hope now it will not create an issue. Yes, so we have successfully completed with the second step or second star task of manage payable document sequence. So firstly, we have seen how to specify ledger option. Then we have seen how to give manage payable document sequence. Now, the third and the fourth step of manage invoice option and manage payment option is optional. And if you want to, if you want to do this task, you can. If you don't want to do this task, you can skip. It's optional. And by that task, you can only allow the document category override option to allow the changes to the default document category on an invoice. This task will help to do this, this thing in the application. So this was all about the document sequencing in tables. Thank you.